Okay, you guys, are you ready? Just give it two minutes. Make sure that our um, broadcast is coming through clearly. Right here is good. And hopefully you're feeling good. Maybe warm up a little bit. Um, Julie and I did go uh, snowshoe yesterday and it was a lot deeper. A lot more challenging the first time. So we stayed up for half an hour and got an amazing, it, it was like um, stair stepping. It was hard. It was good hard though. I said to her on our way out, it's like, if I was on a treadmill right now, I'd get off and go home. But we're out in the middle of nowhere, we have to go back. So that's the best cardio ever. You have no choice. You have no choice but to go on. Perfect, okay, here we go, we got legs. Good morning, Linda. I'm hoping that you get a better connection today. It's been strange, hey? Um, but at least with the playback, I noticed when you get it on uh, a YouTube or even the playback here, um, doesn't, uh, it, it isn't as interrupted, hey? Oh, and there's Don. good morning. Okay, so I'm just gonna make this bigger and then we're gonna go. First set, just a lunge forward, gonna be a warm up, all right? So everything's three times through so we can't hate it too quickly. <laughs> so 12 lunge forward, alternating, and you might just go for some really um, limited uh, motion, abbreviated, until you feel exactly how do my hips feel? How do my knees feel? How do my ankles feel? Good. How is my overall energy? And then you're calling forth the energy, right? Just by moving <laughs> and breathing. Everything wakes up. We hope. <laughs> Good. So then we're going to do a stationary lunge, which is just holding it out on one side, down, up, down, up, down, up. And then, you know what, I got a lot of um, jump squats and whatnot in here. If you choose not to do the impactful jumps, just do intentional. My intention is to, um, you know, move with explosiveness, but I'm not going to use an impact because that is not uh, good for me today or in general. Stationary pump right here. And 10. Yeah, we were saying that we felt a lot through here. Just the lifting of those snowshoes. And then there was snow on the snowshoes, so when you lifted them, you lifted heavier. <laughs> it was fun though. Gorgeous day. Um, really pretty at the um, uh, on golf course. The trees were just heavily, heavily laden with snow. And 10. Good, here comes your jump squats again, and I will demonstrate, you could just go for a squat. You could just go for a um, powerful explosion into your toes, and then you're not adding any uh, jump, and therefore no impact, okay? But use all your arms and legs, and uh, incorporate a lot of muscle work because you can still get a good cardio effect without jumping and running and killing yourself. All right, if it's your intention to eventually run a five or run a marathon, you know, you will train for that. That will be your intention. All right, here we go. Lunge forward alternating. So you'll see where this um, workout will keep our heart rates going a little more than lifting heavy so therefore, Tabata is out today. Um, my cardio, I think, will be my walk with Mac. <sighs> nice, modern intensity, steady state, a little longer duration. And 
I didn't count. <laughs> uh, that's got to be 12. I think what I meant was 6 and 6, so 12 all together. I don't know. Uh, and 10. And 10. Oh yeah, burn baby burn. It's good. It's good for us. Jump squat or explosive intention. One more lunge forward, and then we're starting with, and we're going into uh, Romanian. Romanian means uh, my knees are slightly bent, as opposed to a stiff leg deadlift. And in each case, hips displace backwards, hamstrings stretch. Okay, this isn't uh, a bow forward with your back. That is called a good morning. All right, so. Thoughtful, controlled movement in forward flex position is something you'll have to visit if you're rehabbing from an injury. Even some of those hip, hip conditions like pull up into your glutes and then into your back. So it's a guessing game and you gotta keep at it. Keep at it. Uh, lunge forward. one of these, you know you can go 12, 10, 8, 10, 8, 6. You can go descending, decreasing reps, all right? Um, there's many ways to modify a workout. You might come in and do just one set of each one of these things with me and then stretch for the rest. You might do half of this workout and for the rest you would do a stretch. So many ways to manage your workouts, all right? Um, I just like that thing I wrote this, or posted this morning, don't lie to yourself, because that's where you set up yourself for, for the next time. It's easier to beg off, right? Just this one time, and then the next thing happens, and it's that again, right? Make this your thing that you do. And 10, okay? So even, even within one of these sets, you can progress from intense to less intense. You get my drift. I'm overstating only because I'm procrastinating. The more I talk, <clears throat> the more I recover. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do for, you could use a barbell for these Romanians, right? You could use, I brought my balls in. You could use heavy balls. You could use kettlebells. That's what I'm gonna do, kettlebell. And you could use dumbbells, whatever you got. And then the intention would be to, uh, you know, complete your gym. There's lots of equipment out now. Lots of equipment. Okay, we go for, oh, a single leg deadlift. So it's gonna be one and one after this, and I'm just gonna put myself up on a bit of a, 
good, and then rocket jump. All right, let's go for this guy. He's over. Uh, Romanian, drive that butt back. Your erector muscles are, are, are involved as stabilizers. You're not moving. You're not, they're not really shortening and lengthening and causing the movement. They're generally isometrically contracted. And the lengthening and shortening come from hamstrings. Okay, so try and remember that. And um, if you're going back into this movement after being off for whatever reason, hey, just go through the... Uh, the motion. Get it set up up here. Single leg is the same thing. Okay? And I think this is 10 and 10. I like these. Nice job. Okay, going to the other side. I could probably hang on over here. Nice. Okay, so your rocket. Touch the floor, touch the ceiling. All right. Modified would be just literally touch the floor, touch the ceiling, okay? you would be jumping and exploding off the floor and landing lightly, all right? There we go. Whew. You know what's gonna be timing on this is the 10 and 10s. So when we have to do the unilateral, it takes that much more time. So we got plenty of time though, so go through it easy, go through it smart. Romanian deadlift. Drive those hips back. same leg. <laughs> it feels a little more balanced to me. Try it both ways. muscles. So that's a lot of cardio. A lot of oxygen is being utilized. Right? It's all good. 
Uh, same arm, same leg. Over here. Good. Whoops, I fell off. Two. And then the rocket. I don't know how much more explosiveness I have. Let me try one set. Let's go. Good stuff. All right. So what you need to be aware of on any given workout day is what you did the day before. This workout's gonna be much harder for me today. And it's gonna be a whole different workout for me um, because we did the snowshoeing expedition, right? Didn't have a day of complete rest. So you have to be aware of that. When you see people on Instagram going a million miles an hour, <laughs> They probably have had a lot of rest days, right? And they just come into the to the gym to shoot some clips. And that's it, any one of us can do a clip of a, you know, fantastic um, executing a, a really impressive movement, fully rested and, but to come into a full workout after a full workout, there's different things at play. And you, you have to think about that and understand it on a real common sense, uh, basis. All right, and that goes for stress, um, lack of sleep, um, anything, right? Factor it in, you guys. Don't give it, don't use it as an excuse, but factor it in. You do have to factor in the shoveling. You do. I mean, the shoveling isn't your exercise. We do our exercise so we can be strong to shovel. But coming back to our exercise, you have to be aware that you did challenge the muscles that day and they didn't get a good rest, okay? So, know the difference there, okay? Here we go. I think this is the last time for this, and then we go into goblet squat. And 10, rocket. just popped up on my screen here. I had seen it already over there, but I'm over here just procrastinating. <laughs> we got 
two more triple sets to go. And I'm already feeling it. So hang in there, you guys. I'm gonna follow my own advice and modify uh, those power squat outs. You might just go uh, 10 all together, five and five, right, for a 10 and, or if you wanna go cardio and you wanna pick up the tempo and pop back and forth for 20, that's an idea. It's a good idea if you didn't get cardio, if you wanna get cardio in, right? Uh, goblet means your weight is up here. And you're gonna do 12 squats, basic. Squat it from side to side. Power means, you know, you add a plyometric jump to it. Yes or no, up to you. Up tempo, make it cardio, aerobic, go deep. That's still aerobic, you're using a lot of muscles. Okay, or Step it out when you can't do any more. This way, your brain stays engaged, right? You haven't uh, quit on yourself. Your brain's still saying, oh, she's going. She's going. Spice squat, stay low. Two. Pulls on you in different ways, okay? Spy squats are interesting. This is tough. We got it. We got it. Goblet. When you're ready. <laughs> I'm doing this at my pace today, so. Power squat out so you can use weight. Power squat out, right? Bye. Ooh. Each one of these is worse than the last. Stay low. Oh my God. Okay. Let's do deficit reverse. My deficit is just slight, but for the deficit, you need a, a bench and you decide how high that can be. This deficit could be just, just enough. 
It's up to you. Try it up here. And I don't have a stairway right here, so it's okay. You make do. All right, last set. Our goblet squat for 12. Ten, spy. I was just thinking if it was any other week, or if I was in any other position, I might change my leg workout to a Friday. And put my um, shoulders or arms here because I'm running this group. I like to keep it on a real good pattern for you guys so that you can count on it. But literally, if I were in your position and I'm feeling the way I do today, I might I might give myself extra two days of rest and do legs Friday. And that's what I was saying. You've got to be an expert at manipulating, you know, your life, right? Because I wasn't going to say no, and I didn't think that it would affect me that much. But then again, with the snowstorm and all the shoveling, and then the snowshoeing, and then leg day, makes sense, right? So don't beat yourself up. You're not going backwards. Which is what I feel like right now, but I have to talk to myself. Say no. No, you're not. All right. One more triple set. I definitely am going to modify this. I'm going to start with 12, 10, 10. Then I go 10, 10, 10. And then I'm going to go 8, 8, 8. I'm going to do a little stretch. <laughs> and we're going to sign off and get some rest and recuperation. All righty. So, um... Deficit for first lunge. Did I do everything? I don't even know where I'm at. Where am I at, you guys? Done. I lost it. Uh, I'm thinking I've got to finish off the last set. Squat outs? Or is it, am I starting the third set? You guys go ahead and do your thing. I think my brain is going on me. I think I'm gonna just give you this time to finish up that last round and then we're, I'm gonna start on my next one. Too much, too much talking, too much fatigue. Good. Deficit reverse. Now you could stand both feet up on your um, platform and do alternating reverse. Or you could do um, six on one side, six on the other. Okay, so it could be right here. Six, and then I'll go to the other side for six. Hey, Margaret. You're just catching me, losing it. I'm so tired. <laughs> this, is a, this is a good workout. And six, good. So six and six or 12 all together. Um, one leg squat, when I say with a toe support, you put the toe up on your elevation or just even here and put all your work here, okay? Eight, I got eight. And Eight. 
good. And then pop squat. All right, so pop squat could be, um, you know, just a up tempo, or it could be pop squat. Eight of this last one, that's fine. Ready for the, de the deficit reverse. at your own pace. I'm doing my own thing right now. Just keeping my brain going. Keeping myself in the game. One more set. I'm going down to sixes. Pop squat, we're done. Good. Five. Got five more in you. I'm going to go right into a stretch for my hip flexor. a lot yesterday and I use it a lot today. Good. And knees back. And then add the rotation. Good. Hand other side. Alright. You do the stretch that you feel is best for you today, okay? Given everything I've done the last couple days, I think this is good. And we're gonna do a really good stretch this weekend too. All right, last one here for my hip flexor. Oh, nice. And then bring your rotation, the torso twist into it. And other side, if, if you can hold your balance, I'm finding <laughs> the muscles have to work to keep me upright. Anyways, you guys, have a fantastic day. 
We made it. We survived. We pat ourselves on the back. Uh, I hope you did uh, good. It was a good one. We might have to put a star on that one. Bring it back one day. Okay. Have a fantastic Wednesday. Happy hump day, guys. Hot darn, eh? It's coming up on a weekend again. Here we go. Thanks for coming. Okay, take care. See you, Margaret.